So, you're an urban homesteader or you want to be. You live in the city, you live in the suburbs, and you're thinking about getting chickens. I love chickens. I started out with chickens as an urban homesteader. That was my first homestead animal. But I am going to give you nine reasons why you should think about getting quail first. I wish I had quail first before I got chickens. But first, it's whistle thicket time. Do 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 whistle thicket. So we love our chickens and we just recently got quail and I tell you I wish we would have gotten quail sooner. Um, a few years ago we went to a farmer's market and a lady there was selling quail eggs. We got some and just fell in love with the, the taste of quail eggs. They're just so tasty. So. Um, there are lots of great things about chickens. Um, I'm not bashing chickens, I love them. But there's a lot of great things about quail and a lot of people don't raise them. So I am going to give you nine reasons why you should think about raising quail. Here is reason one right here. No noise, that's right. They're not making any noise. You can probably hear the chickens in the background. Chickens make noise, hens make noise, roosters of course make noise, but male and female quails don't really make any noise. Um, they do have a little song and a chirp. It's kind of pleasant. But if you live in a neighborhood, you probably are thinking, okay, if I have a rooster, my neighbors are not going to be happy and chickens do make a lot of clucking noises we enjoy it but some neighbors do not so number one no noise so number two the second reason you should think about getting quail is the space so if you live in the city or a backyard um, if you live in the suburbs you may have a very small backyard chickens need a coop they need a run um, if you're free ranging, they're all over your yard. Quails do not need a coop. They have a hutch, which is a lot smaller. Um, they cannot free range. If they do, you won't see them. Um, they'll fly away or they'll get eaten. Uh, they're very small. I mean, uh, um, I could see cats really enjoying playing with a quail here. So they take a lot less space. Um, you could have quails inside a garage. I've seen people do that. Um, so that is a really great um, bonus of quail is that they don't take a lot of space. So number three is the laws, legal stuff. There's a lot of towns where you can't have chickens or they put a limit on how many hens you can have. It's usually six to ten um, and most of the time you cannot have a rooster but these laws usually don't apply to quail and again quail are small i'm sure you could kind of sneak with your quail and nobody would know so so far we got um hey buddy Okay, so, so far, we have no noise, less space, and it's probably legal. So those are three really great things about quail, but I'm gonna tell you some more things if you're not sold on them. So number four, they mature very quickly. Um, you can get eggs from a quail six to eight weeks. So that's amazing. Um, let me show you a quail egg. They are pretty tiny, um, but they are delicious. So number five is these amazing quail eggs. They're so awesome. They're like the chocolate of the egg world. And if you haven't had a quail egg, you need to go out and find yourself a quail egg. And I guarantee 
you will want to raise quail after you have one of these babies. So our next reason to have quail is if you want to raise a meat bird again, they mature at six to eight weeks. So you can be um, enjoying quail meat in two months time as opposed to a, um, a lot of chickens are more like three to five months. There's a lot of breeds of chickens. I know there's the fast growing chickens. Um, and eggs for chickens are five months, sometimes eight months. So you're going to really wait on a quail egg if, or sorry, on a chicken egg. A quail egg you can enjoy within two months of the quails hatching from an egg. So that's pretty awesome. Uh Um, I guess number eight, I think we're on number eight, is hatch time. Quail actually hatch a little bit sooner and quicker than a chicken. So a typical hatch time for a chicken is 21 days. Quails can hatch from 15 to 18 days. It's, it's all dependent on the variety of, of quail. Um, so they mature faster, they lay faster, and... Um, they hatch faster, so that's pretty awesome. The last one, number nine, is taking all of this into account. If you wanted to start a small urban homesteading business, it's really hard to do that with chickens. You need a lot of room to make a profit, but quails are unique, they're different, and you can raise a lot of them in a small space as long as um, you're treating them right. So if you wanted to start a business, that's number nine, think about quail eggs. Um, I only have eight quail right now, but I am thinking about raising more quail. Um, they're really friendly, um, not as friendly as chickens, but um, they're nice animals, they're easy to maintain. Um, in a future video, hopefully this week, I'm gonna make a video just of the hutch. I'm gonna explain what I put inside my hutch. It's a little bit different than a chicken coop, but not that different. So keep on watching and uh, think about getting quail.